I would be remiss if I didn't begin by uh, thanking Tony Juracek, our athletic director, and David DeSenzo, our president, frankly, for giving me the opportunity to become part of Coastal Carolina. That's an honor for me. And the fact that Coastal has the opportunity to compete in the Big South is also an honor for me. I'll always be grateful for that. Uh, what I thought I would do was share a little bit about kind of the transition that's taking place in Coastal with regard to football. Uh, we actually met the team for the first time in the early part of January, and we said that well, we have rules we need to obey, we're not going to have any specific rules. We're going to have one mission, we're going to have, a, have one, one simple principle. And the mission was we're going to put a team on the field that Coastal Carolina has got to be proud of, the entire community of Coastal Carolina. And we understand what that means with our tradition, that victories are a critical part of that. But it also means that we're never going to take a snap off. Um, the second part of this is how we're going to lay the foundation upon which we're going to build our program. And we said this is simply about standing on your own two feet and accepting responsibility for yourself. And when we say that, we're not just talking about football, we're talking about what you need to be able to get done in the classroom, you need to be able to do academically. We expect you to be leaders on campus, and that means you've got to watch your behavior on and off campus. And at the end of the day, you are somebody's son, you're somebody's brother, you've got to be able to live up to that relationship and the responsibility you've got to your family. The next part of that is, if you're really doing that, if you're really doing that, you're really standing on your own two feet and accepting responsibility for yourself, that means you've got to be man enough to also understand you've got to look at the consequences of your actions. Now, automatically, when you say consequences of your actions, people say, so that means they're going to get in trouble for doing something wrong. No, when the consequences of your actions, when what you do with your actions and the decisions you make are good and solid, and you really are living up to your responsibility to take care of business, those consequences are usually outstanding. But when you're not doing that, you will be held accountable for that, and you will live up with those consequences as well. Um, so the big part, I think, I think in the very beginning that our guys needed to be able to grasp, we actually had an inordinate amount of the guys who were returning from last year that had academic difficulties. So the number one thing we kind of focused on was how critical that was. And it's not about just going to class. It's not about getting a job. It's about laying a foundation for what you're going to do the rest of your life. And it's, it's a career selection. So all that's part of it. So I'm proud of the way that guys have worked on that over the span of the last, the last several months. Um, the second piece of this is anytime you have a brand new staff, you've got a brand new offense, defense, kicking system, you've got 10 guys working together that haven't worked together before, that takes a little while for everybody to kind of understand, both in terms of internally within the staff, as the staff grows and reaches out to the rest of Coastal Carolina, our community, and how we interact with our players and their understanding of what we're asking of them. Uh, so that was a good opportunity for us to learn what we needed to learn in the spring. Uh, I was pleased with the progress we made in the spring. I think if you take a look at our, our talent level uh, across our team, I think we've got pretty good solid talent in, our, uh, in all the skilled positions as far as offense goes, but we don't have much depth on the offensive line, we don't have much depth anywhere on the defense, and we don't have much depth with regards to our specialist goal. So we've got to be able to count on our guys' progress from where they were a year ago, from where they were in the spring, what they're doing over the summer, and our new guys being able to come in and kind of round out that circle, providing some much-needed depth. Um, so at the end of the day, all I want to do is repeat the fact that for me it's incredible, it's an incredible honor to be the head football coach of Coastal, and for Coastal support, we're part of the Big South. I thank you. I wish you all best of luck.